theory of multiple intelligence. Harvard professor Howard Gardner introduced a world to his theory of multiple intelligence in his 1983 book, Frames of Mind. Simply put, the idea is that one's intellectual intelligence or IQ doesn't tell the complete story about someone's full range of potential. Therefore, Gardner proposed nine types of intelligence to more accurately measure a broader range of human strengths and abilities. Gardner's types of intelligence are in line with what most of us have been brought up to believe, that we are all special, because we all have different strengths and interests. Let's take a look at Gardner's original seven types of intelligence plus two more, that he's added over the years. By examining the definitions and characteristics of each type of intelligence, you should be able to discern which types of intelligence you're strongest in. 1. Visual Spatial Intelligence. Visual spatial intelligence has to do with how well someone is at maneuvering through space and visualizing things. People with high visual spatial intelligence tend to excel at identifying patterns and interpreting charts and graphs. If you're usually the navigator and map reader of your squad, you just might have high visual spatial intelligence. If you are good at treating maps, you rarely get lost, can visualize objects moving and changing through space, and have a good sense of direction, these could all be signs of high visual spatial intelligence. Visual spatial careers involve architecture, computer science, design. To cultivate visual spatial intelligence, take a photography or drawing class, draw mind maps of your plans or ideas, do puzzles and mazes for fun. Famous people with visual spatial intelligence include Galileo Galilei, Salvador Dali, and Steve Jobs. 2. Linguistic Verbal Intelligence. Linguistic verbal intelligence is all about words. This translates to great readers, writers, and speakers. Generally, if someone can tell a good story and memorize words quickly, they have high linguistic verbal intelligence. If you are a good writer, you enjoy playing around with language and wording you are good at memorizing things, can explain yourself easily to others, you are a good communicator, you probably have high linguistic verbal intelligence. To cultivate verbal linguistic intelligence, write in a journal, play word games, like Scrabble and crossword puzzles, read more books, and debate issues more often. Verbal linguistic careers involve writers, public speakers, lawyers, Famous people with verbal linguistic intelligence include J.K. Rowling. 3. Logical Mathematical Intelligence. Logical Mathematical Intelligence is about logical problem solving and number sense. People with high logical mathematical intelligence would obviously be great at solving math problems and be strong conceptual thinkers. Think of scientists and mathematicians. If you are good at math, excel at logical problem solving, you're probably doing well with your logical mathematical intelligence. Logical reasoning careers involve scientists, computer programmers, inventors. To cultivate logical reasoning intelligence, play logic and pattern games like Sudoku, organize a collection, develop and prove a hypothesis, find the pattern in a poem. Famous people with logical reasoning intelligence include Nikola Tesla and Bill Gates. 4. Bodily kinesthetic intelligence. Bodily kinesthetic intelligence is how well people can move through space. If you have high bodily kinesthetic intelligence, you have excellent control of your body and superb body awareness, meaning you know what your body is doing at any given time. People with this intelligence might excel at sports and dance and have good hand-eye coordination. If you enjoy dance or sports, have good body awareness, meaning are you able to move your body in the way your brain wants, have good hand-eye coordination, you are good at balancing and moving through space, you're probably scoring high in your bodily kinesthetic intelligence. Bodily kinesthetic careers involve dancers, actors, construction workers, sculptors. To cultivate bodily kinesthetic intelligence indulge in physical activities, manipulate objects, using fine and gross motor skills, build things. Famous people with bodily kinesthetic intelligence include Michael Jordan and Michael Jackson. 5. Musical intelligence. Can you clap to the beat and sing in tune? You might have a decent musical intelligence. People with above-average musical intelligence can recognize tones and hear patterns in songs. Obviously, they would be drawn to music both listening and creating. If you can find the rhythm when a song is playing, are able to match the pitch of a musical note, enjoy listening to or playing music, or would your friends describe you as musical? Then you have high musical intelligence. Auditory musical careers include composer, DJ, band director, singer. To cultivate auditory musical intelligence. Listen to music while studying, connect music to a lesson, write a short song. Famous people with auditory musical intelligence include Mozart and Alicia Keys. 6. Interpersonal intelligence. 
Interpersonal intelligence is, not surprisingly, about interpersonal or social skills. If someone is empathetic and good at understanding other people's intentions and emotions, they probably have high interpersonal intelligence. People with this intelligence excel at group work and keeping the peace in organizations. They're excellent communicators and sensitive to other people's needs. They are also able to see other people's perspectives. Are you the peacemaker of your group? Would you describe yourself as empathetic? Are you able to figure out what people's body language means? Do you tend to know what people are thinking or feeling without having to ask? Are you good with other people's emotions? If you said yes to these questions, you probably have high interpersonal intelligence. Interpersonal careers involve politicians, teachers, social workers, counselors. To cultivate interpersonal intelligence, engage in group activities, volunteer for community service, teach a class or a friend something. Famous people with interpersonal intelligence include Oprah Winfrey, Dr. Phil and Mother Teresa. 7. Intrapersonal Intelligence. This is self-awareness. Intrapersonal intelligence is all about how well someone is at reflecting on and being aware of their own mental and emotional state at any given time. These are the philosophers and the daydreamers. Do you spend time daydreaming? Would people describe you as reflective? Do you know what you're feeling when you're feeling it? Have people described you as being self-aware if you said yes to these questions, you probably have high intrapersonal intelligence. To cultivate intrapersonal intelligence, keep a daily journal, read self-help books, imagine yourself in other people's shoes. 8. Naturalistic Intelligence. After publishing Frames of Mind, Gardner discussed other types of intelligence that fit into his theory of multiple intelligences. Other scholars have added others, but Gardner only agreed to this in the next type. People with high naturalistic intelligence are nature lovers. They are sensitive to slight changes in their environment and gravitate to exploring nature and examining flora and fauna. Do you enjoy spending time in nature? Do you have an interest in wild plants and animals? Do you notice subtle changes in the environment? Does being in nature make you feel better? People who answer yes to these questions tend to have high naturalistic intelligence. Naturalistic careers involve zookeepers, veterinarians, conservationists. To cultivate naturalistic intelligence, keep a nature journal, start a small garden, go outside for everyday activities, take care of a pet. Famous people with existential intelligence include Steve Irwin, the crocodile hunter, and Jane Goodall. 9. Pedagogical intelligence. These are the effortless teachers. People who can instruct, facilitate, and convey information to others have excellent pedagogical intelligence. It's one thing to understand a topic, but it's a very different skill set to be able to help other people understand that same topic. Do you enjoy teaching people? Are you good at conveying information to others? Good teachers probably have high pedagogical intelligence. Famous people with pedagogical intelligence include Buddha, Lao Tzu and Simone de Beauvoir. Criticism of the theory of multiple intelligence. Some have criticized the theory of multiple intelligences as nothing more than a list of skills and abilities. Perhaps, talents would have been a better way for Gardner to describe his list than types of intelligence because it describes what people are drawn to and excel in easily. This talent in no way dictates what people should do for a living. Instead, thinking you are strong in one intelligence may limit the effort you put into other areas. Carol Dweck's growth mindset theory in her book, Mindset, The New Psychology of Success, states that when we look at skills and abilities as changeable through hard work and practice, we're able to change those abilities. This is called a growth mindset. However, when we think that our skills and abilities are innate, it is less likely that we can improve. Gardner's theory of multiple intelligences runs the risk of tricking us into thinking our skills and abilities are inborn and that effort and dedication won't have much of an impact, which is untrue. The theory of multiple intelligences should be approached more like Neil Fleming's theory of learning styles. Fleming proposed that people have different styles of learning or ways that they are better able to learn, reading, writing, kinesthetic, oral, and visual. The problem with the theory of learning styles and with types of intelligence is that there's not much empirical evidence to show that your learning style or type of intelligence impacts how you learn. In short, just because I'm drawn to nature and good at building campfires, it doesn't mean that's how I learn best. Think talent more than intelligence, and I think you'll be better able to appreciate Gardner's theory for what it is.